Hello, this is Shubham, Cisco Network Security Consulting Engineer. This is going to be the first of many videos with respect to infrastructure as code with Cisco Secure Firewall. In today's video, I will demonstrate on how to consume Cisco provided IAC templates in your journey towards cloud automation. So what is infrastructure as a code? It's a process of managing and provisioning the complete IT infrastructure using machine readable definition files. There are various tools to create these machine readable definition files. Some of the notable ones are listed below. Terraform, it's an open source tool which supports multiple vendor. CloudFormation, which is an AWS specific tool. ARM template, which is specific to Azure. DRM template, which is specific to Google Cloud. ISC helps avoid manual configuration and enforce consistency by representing the desired state of the environment using code. For Cisco available resources, we have created a GitHub repository with Cisco secure firewall templates. The link here will also be provided in the description below. In this Cisco repository, Cisco engineers will upload templates for various cloud vendors in language pertaining to that vendor. For example, AWS supports both CloudFormation and Terraform templates. So the AWS folder will host both Terraform and CloudFormation templates for various architectures. We will walk through this whole repository during the live demonstration. For this demonstration, we'll create a single instance of ASAV on Azure Cloud using Terraform. The ASAV will have four interfaces. The management will also act as an outside subnet with a public IP address. We'll have a DMZ subnet, which will host our web server. We'll have an inside subnet, which will host our app server. And we'll have a spare slash bastion subnet, which will host our jump servers. Once the infrastructure is deployed using Terraform, the internet user should be able to reach out to the web server. And the web server should be able to ping the app server through the ASAV. Let's dive into live demonstration now. This is the secure firewall repository, which will host the template and automation resources. As pointed out earlier, each of these, both ASA and FTD will host different cloud vendors. For example, let's look into FTD and going inside, we'll have both AWS and Azure as the cloud vendor. We'll have various templates under both CloudFormation and Terraform. For this demonstration, I will be using ASA on a zero template. This template will create one new VPC with four subnets, one management network and three data networks. Each of these subnets will have a routing table attached and the management subnet will have public IP attached. We have various variables that can be set up as per the organization's need. We'll go ahead and clone this repository so that we can use the Cisco ASAV template. So we go ahead and copy the link. So we go into our jump server. Before cloning the repository, let me show you the preparation that needs to be done. I've already installed Terraform that needs to be present on the server. I've also installed AZ CLI and authenticated this server to the AZ cloud. I'll go ahead and clone the repository. Now that we have cloned the repository into local web server, I will navigate to the directory that is needed for this demonstration. Now that we are in the mentioned directory, we can see the contents of this directory. We can see ASA running config.txt, which is our day zero file. We have an ASAV standalone saz.tf, that is our main terraform.tf file. We have a var.tf that will host all the variables. And we have a terraform.tfrs file in which we can make changes according to our needs. Now I will clone these files into my working directory where I would be making changes. Now I will navigate to my working directory. So I have copied all the necessary file from the Cisco repository. And I've also added some of the templates that I will need to create the web and the app servers. Now I'll go through the terraform.tfrs file so that we can go through all the variables that are needed to be filled up. 
The first variable in this file is location. The second variable is a prefix that gets attached to each of the resources. We will keep it as Cisco dash ASAV. Third variable limits the management access from specific source. We'll keep it all for this demonstration. The next variable is an IP address prefix. It basically means that we need to set the first and second octet of this virtual network that we're going to create in this demonstration. I'll keep it as 10.10. .10. The third octet gets fixed for each of the subnets. So dot zero becomes the management subnet, dot one becomes the spare subnet, dot two becomes the inside subnet, and the dot three becomes my DMG subnet. For version, we are going to deploy 9.15.1.1. We'll keep the VM size as default, or the resource group name, I'm keeping it default. The instance name or host name is Cisco ASAV. I'll keep the instance username as Cisco and instance password as the default one as provided in the Terraform DFRs file. I'll use the day zero config that is provided in the Cisco template. So I'll go ahead and do a Terraform init to initialize the providers. This showcases what all resources will be created as part of this Terraform apply. I'll go ahead and say yes. I will start deploying these things parallelly. I'll go ahead and fast forward it to the end. So the template is deployed now. We'll walk through the resources created on the Azure portal. Now I'm on the Azure portal under resource groups. So we can see that the resource group Cisco asav rgs has been created. I'll go inside the resource group. I can see Cisco ASAV VM created. I can also see my web server and also my app server being created. I'll go ahead and log into the ASAC Live showcase. We have connectivity. Now I'll log into the Cisco ASA we created just to check that the Cisco is up and running. So we have Cisco ASA V prompt. That means it's up and running. I'll go ahead and configure NAT and ACL on this ASA V and also enable web services on my web server. I'll do this in the backend as this is not in the scope of this video. I'll meet you after the configuration is done. Welcome back. The required configuration on Cisco ASAV is complete and I've also enabled web services on my Linux box. Just to demonstrate that we have a web page, I'll go ahead and do a curl. So I get a reply back. I've also logged into Cisco ASAV and configured some captures so that we can see the live traffic. Now I'll go ahead and copy the DNS name for my Cisco ASAV public IP. And once I go and put it in my browser, I should be able to see the Apache 2 Ubuntu web server. Now, if I go back to my Cisco ASAV, I can see traffic on my out slash management interface and my DMZ interface. So I am receiving traffic from my DMZ interface to the web server's interface. Now I'll go ahead and ping my app server from my Linux box. The IP address for the, the IP address of my app server is 10.10.2.4. I'm able to ping the app server from my web server. I can see the traffic on my inside interface. So this concludes the demonstration. We were successfully able to reach the web server from internet and reach the inside app server from the web server. All of these through an infrastructure created via Terraform. This concludes the session. I hope you liked the video and found it informative. Thank you.